This is ridiculous. Bottom line is, he's the president of the United States. He probably has other things that's on his mind. I want to know what book he's reading, and I want to know what he's saying. Why an ass, Scott? Because I want my America back. Show us straight, Roland Martin. Friday morning, Roland Martin in the Red Velvet Cake Studios. Good morning, Roland. What up, my people? How Great. was your commencement? Oh, man, it was fabulous. Cedar Valley College, about 400 students. Uh, Ibach was packed. Want to say hello to everybody there. It was just a fantastic time. And you got out of there in time to got see Scandal. Got out of there in time, man. Had, had to see Scandal. All I'm saying <laughs> is this morning, uh, Jay, ain't nobody saying, hey, Fitz. They saying, hey, Jody. <laughs> <laughs> All the old school sisters know what I'm talking about. All right, then. Uh, Tom, we talked about the story uh, uh, last week of the Florida teen, 16-year-old Kiera Wilmot. Yeah. Well, the science experiment went awry. Well, this week, uh, the f- prosecutors in Florida declined to not press felony charges against her. The charges were dropped. Yes. Uh, she has Good. not talked to anybody else. We have her exclusively this morning with her mother, Marie, as well as the attorney, Larry Hardaway. Uh, Kiera? Hello. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Doing great. How how did it feel when your attorney uh, told you, Kira, they're dropping charges? I felt really good. I was very happy. Now, has this hurt your whole view of wanting to go into science and, and your love affair with science? Uh, yes, very much. So you go, so you, so what? You're gonna stop doing science stuff, or or you still want to pursue that when you go to college? Uh, I want to pursue it when I go to college, but I feel scared to do it now mm. Mm. now i want to talk now your mom marie is there as well marie i gotta ask you you gave an interview with Orlando Sitton sitting and we talked about this is drain your finances um you know you you prepare for some expectancies in life but um this is one of those things that we were not planning on what did it cost you um well we we still haven't finished i mean cost we haven't finished all the lawyer fees and everything, but just the cost of taking time off from work, mm. driving back and forth to um, meet with the attorney and different people to get this resolved, um, mm. and just being out and about. Our, our whole life has changed. Roland, what's the story? What's the backstory here? You started in... You, you, what's the, what happened? The story is that uh, a young lady, um, uh, science experiment, and she was performing it before uh, school, and uh, it sort of exploded, but it wasn't a major explosion, right. and smoke began to rise. And the school district has a zero t- tolerance policy, suspends her, kicks her out of school. She has to go to the alternate school, and then all of a sudden, because of the laws there in Florida, and correct me if I'm wrong, Larry Hardaway, the attorney, uh, they said they were going to pursue or look at felony charges against her, somehow as if she was making some kind of bomb or something. It was just it was unbelievable. Larry? Well, that is true. Uh, the... Uh Officer from the Bartow Police Department did, in fact, file two felony charges against uh, this child, I think inappropriately, uh, but he did. And because he did, uh, she was actually arrested, handcuffed at school, and taken to the Juvenile Assessment Center to be processed. Um, uh, Under Florida law, uh, the state attorney's office, because she's older than the age of uh, 14, she could be charged as an adult. Uh, those kind of offenses that serious uh, are likely considered for adult filing. And so she would be charged with uh, two felony offenses as an adult and would be facing prison time. Mm. And, not a, and, and, and not walk and graduate. So, but there, Correct. But there are no doubt. charges. But what's the diversion program? Is right. that a part of this? Let, let's well, talk. Uh, go, ahead, go ahead, Larry. Yes, a diversion program is an alternative to the formal prosecution process. It allows for the dismissal of the charges based upon some requested conditions of the agreement that the accused would have to do. And that's, in fact, what we've done in this case. Now, Larry, that's the criminal side, and Marie uh, and Kira as well. Now you still got to deal with the school side because you were playing the cello, you were in the band, but now you're in this alternative school. So where does that stand, you getting back into your original high school versus finishing your career in this alternative school? Um, the alternative school, I do not have the orchestra class of where I play my instrument. It's just so different there. Um, I don't know how to, how, I'm, I'm hoping to go back to Bartow High School for my senior year, but that has not been resolved yet. Larry, where does that stand? Uh, that stands, we're still in negotiation. Um, I'm going to probably have more contact with them this afternoon. Uh, I'm trying to get them to give me some firm commitment as to 
the direction that they're going to take, and we're going to then involve ourselves in that direction in hoping to get it done. So, and, let's, and let's be clear, the principal said this is a great student. She's not a trouble uh, uh, teen. She was a phenomenal student. And so, Larry and Marie, what you're saying is the school district should be saying, look at this on a case-by-case basis. Yes, uh, we've asked them to do that. And I think there's enough reason for them to do it at this point. And so uh, the, uh, their comments, though, in the paper have been a little ambiguous about how they're going to handle this. But I, I'm hoping that uh, from this point on, since the state attorney's office has fully uh, dropped all the charges, that, that we now can get into a direction of negotiations that's going to be in the best interest of this child. Has public support played a part in the the release of, of the charges? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Uh, there have been hundreds of thousands of opinions made, and most of them have been directed directly here to this county. So, Kira, Kira, um, you're going into your senior year? Yes, sir. And what school are you going to finish your your high school uh, you, career? You hope to. Uh, Barso Senior High. The original school. Right. That's what she, but they have to work out with the school district. But right now she's targeted. In, she's in an alternative school. She wants to go back to her original high school. And when you go to college, what do you want to major in? Technology, uh, engineering. Well, let me, let me say this, Kiara. I understand it was frightful. It was scared. But uh, STEM is a major, major area. Folks are looking at science, technology, engineering, and math. And I would say... Have the faith, have the courage to still do your passion, still do what you do, and don't allow this uh, to stop you from doing that. And trust me, lots of folks are out here, lots of scientists. I've gotten emails. People are pulling for you. Uh, and really stay on that path as best as you can. Get back up on that Absolutely. bicycle and ride again, girl. Yeah. Keep, keep pursuing your dream. I'm going to get off the bicycle and try the unicycle. <laughs> <laughs> I like her. Kara Wilmot, Marie, Larry Hardaway, we appreciate you giving us this exclusive interview of Tom's on the Morning Show. Thank you. And Thank Mama you. Maria, we love you. Good Thank luck you. to you. We love you too. All right. Have a nice day. Take you care. Too. You too. Good luck, sweetie. Go to school. <laughs>